Tired.
what's going on everybody it's your boy zeke pruitt in the building man and here we go guys friday night lights is here for us florida state number 11 versus number 15 colorado going down right now i appreciate you guys for joining joining and tuning in early as we are prepared for kickoff i see rashad in the building bo sanders in attendance cover boys in the building zaj and christian bachigalupi kong morris cj johnson tsj kenzo yudo elijah carter k5 we are joined by a great group of guys as we get this thing underway appreciate you guys let's get a hashtag league first in the chat if you can hear me what up mike blunt i got your message brother i will be uh responding very soon but let's get that hashtag league first in here if we got if we're good for kickoff here fellas As this thing's going to start off with Colorado taking the first shot offensively here, guys. These guys, remember, coming off of a win last week against Colo I mean, against Oklahoma, really tough game. Remember, they won that one in quite the fashion, really dramatic fashion, actually. Even the game cutting off on us, but they did get the 36-30 victory there as uh, Tim Ricks Going to be looking to lead his team out and try to get it done here. Taking the first snap, dropping back on the 26. Oh, he's going to let it fly. And there's this guy, CP3, already locked and loaded. This is the play they love to go to often. And he's coming out the gate with one right away. As we've been seeing already this week, last night's game was crazy. We've been seeing teams coming out the gate, taking shots, not being shy with the football. Quarterbacks really looking for their targets. He's going to get this one started off. Here's the first handoff for Edwards. Edwards has been a big key point for this offense here all year long. 184 yards last week, 24 rushes and a touchdown. 
So you definitely got to keep an eye on this kid. He can get it done. Coming off that 36-30 lead or victory last week against a tough Oklahoma team. Colorado trying to move up the rankings late in the season here. Another handoff to Edwards. Edwards has some room and he fights his way down for another first down. Colorado's attacking this Florida State defense early on. This is a very solid defense as well. Here they are out of the gun. Tim Ricks taking a snap. Another handoff. Edwards going to be taken down at the 28. 13 yards on the play. 15 in the chat, guys. Hit that like button on the way in, fellas. Appreciate you guys for joining us. CS6 Week 12 action. ACC versus Big 12. Tim Ricks with a nice pass to Kyrie Washington. Going to get him down on the 25. Going to be an empty set here. Tim Ricks looking to use the arm. Dumps it off again. It's going to be Corey Polly Catching it down at the 19. And he's looking to get number one involved early in this ball game. Coming back out. Setting up. Here's the pitch. Out to Hankerson. He stopped in his tracks. Met dead at the line. Pushing him back five yards. Second and 15. Just a monster of a game from Edwards last week. Remember, he had 76 receiving yards as well and a touchdown to go along with those 184 yards. Here's him. Another pass broken up. And Polly put up four receptions for 48 yards. So he's already up at two receptions trying to match his performance from last week. Here's Tim Ricks being pressured. Going to dump it off to Edwards. Edwards had some room. Nice block. And he's up to the 10. He's doing more damage. Looking like he was last week, but it's going to be short. They're going to stay aggressive. Fourth and two on the 10. Let me know in the chat. Do they convert or no? Under 10 minutes here. Here's Tim Ricks looking to the end zone. Oh, it's picked off in the end zone. Trying to go to CP3. Corey Polly to third and... Number 23 is going to sky up Ben Trail Cypress and take the interception. And Florida State is going to get this one started. Nice, aggressive defense in the red zone. You know when that field gets tight and the field gets shorter, the plays get a little more complicated as QB1 steps onto the field here. Aaron Dixon, very solid year, 2,629 yards. This kid's been letting it fly, leading this number 11 team. Trying to get him to victory here this week. Coming off a tough loss to Miami last week in a conference matchup that they desperately needed that win. They really wanted to showcase themselves and get over on Miami, but 31-5 was the inning score to that one, and we know that was a wild ball game if you were tuned into that one. Here's Aaron going to dump it off. Got a nice block. Got some space. Going to pick up some nice yards here. Third and four. Aaron Dixon going to have to get it going. He had 45 attempts last week. Only 184 yards and two interceptions. So they've got to get AD rolling tonight. He's got to stay aggressive. Nice pass. Back-to-back -back looks to number six. This kid, Bell, has been cooking all season. Another one of those tight ends that's high up on the board. One of our generic players here in the league down on the 34 Aaron Dixon again trying to get it rolling 29 completions last week but it wasn't enough just 80, 184 yards he's going to take it out himself on the left and he's going to slide quarterbacks got to play it safe the defenders have been letting them have it fumble after fumble these quarterbacks have got to play it safe and Aaron Dixon does just that second and two handoff to Tofili stopped in his tracks overseam going to be there on the tackle Bringing up a third and two here on the 42. The Seminoles trying to keep this drive going. Here's the snap. Gets it to Tofili up to the outside. Tries to cut in and CJ Duffy. Duffy boy with the straps. Fourth and one here. And I doubt they stay aggressive with the field position. Tried to get to the outside. Tried to cut in and Duffy all over it. Wraps him up. Takes him down to end the possession. 
Tough defense there. What's going on, Perk? Samaji. I see you guys. What up, Jeff? Appreciate you guys for stopping by. Tuning in tonight. Friday night lights. The lights are bright. We got number 11 versus number 15. And we got an amazing punt here from Florida State. So they get the three and out. But the punt gets Colorado set up at the eight. Coming off of a solid drive. What seemed to be a good drive. Got him down to about the 10. And then Tim Ricks threw an interception in the end zone. They cost him the whole possession. So here they are now starting off on the eight. Getting it to Dylan Edwards. Edwards finding a little room and gets it for seven yards. Remember, big time, 184 yards last week, 76 receiving yards to match, a couple of touchdowns. So he's already on pace. He's looking to get it going. Another handoff to Edwards, cutting inside. First down. 26 yards now for Edwards. Colorado looking to set it up on the 22. Started this drive on the 8. Here's Tim out the gun. Back to Edwards. Looks like, oh, a nice break. Another first. Dylan Edwards putting on a show, and this is what he does week after week. He's back for more. This Colorado team has been all about consistency this season. They have yet to find it. They win a week, lose a week. Win a week, lose a week. Win a week. That's right. Right now, they're on a win week, and technically, this should be their losing week. But Wiley... Off to the races, K.J. Wiley, big-time reception. And if, like I said, if I go by the numbers, they win, lose, win, lose. They won last week, which means they technically they're supposed to lose this week. But Tim Ricks and K.J. Wiley might say otherwise as they pick up a nice game. Look at that block from Kyrie Washington, number 18. Spectacular block as Colorado is racing their way down the field on the 25. Diamond Armani in the building. Tim Ricks looking. Plenty of time to throw. Outside to Dawson and taken down after six yards. Tim Ricks already up to 104 yards on a night. So it looks like it's going to be a solid night for little Tim. Single back formation for Edwards. Looking for the handoff. Cutting outside. Nice block. Oh, they're getting some blocking tonight. They are getting some blocking for the Buffs. First and goal on the eight. Nice reads. Nice ball carrying for Dylan tonight. Looking to heat up. Again, back down here in the red zone. Last time threw an interception to the end zone. Let's see how they handle it this time. Hankerson finding some way. And you got to think these blockers are doing their job. The run game is looking good. They might just want to run this one out all the way into the end zone. It's been looking very good all drive long. Setting up again with Edwards in the backfield. They're going to do just that. They're going to try to go with the workhorse, taking him down at the one-yard line. Already with 51 yards is Dylan Edwards here in the first quarter of play with just about a minute here left to go in the first. Tim out of the gun, another hand off. Oh, my. Stopped. Finally getting back there. Love it, senior. Not having it. He's seen about enough running from Dylan. They're going to set up the field goal here. Stopped him in his tracks. Colorado going to try to get this game going. Is Mata going to try to get three on the board? And he does. Colorado going to start this game off 3-0 as they look to take down the Seminoles in an upset here in week 12 with just one week to go in the regular season. Things are getting intense here in certain conferences and fighting for positioning. And right now, Florida State in the ACC looking pretty solid as they try to move their way up a little bit more. And the same for Colorado. Remember, the situation Colorado's in, they need to win out and they need certain teams to lose. This would be a huge win for Colorado and it give them a great shot at trying to get into that conference championship game. That's going to do it for the first quarter, guys. Let's get those twos in the chat, fellas. 3-0 ball game right now for the Colorado Buffaloes. As every game for these guys is very, very key. They need to win 12 and 13. And they need a couple of teams to take some L's in order to get into that game. Twos in the chat. Big time quarters only. Aaron Dixon rolling out to the outside. Got his man, Tofili. 
Just one yard on the play. Down at the 37, second and nine. Here's AD in the shotgun. They're loaded in the box there, taking the, dropping it off to Tofi. Lead to the outside, got a nice block. Oh, did he stiff arm K5? I don't want to say it. What's going on, Kyler? What's up, Dre? Shotgun action, got some motion going. Bell, C-Botch. Here's the fake. Aaron outside to Bell. Bell met by Antoine Fields and taken down at the 48. Florida State has got to start maybe attacking the middle on some of these passes. They're doing a lot of outside routes and or they're running the football. They've yet to really attack the middle. I'm not sure if the box is just locked up right now by Kyrie and those guys, and it just might be, but Tofili pushes his way in for a first down. Yeah, you got stiff arms, K5. I seen you down there. I seen him get you. Single back Tofili. Stop. Oh, it's okay. The grave digger is here. K5. See, you took that stiff arm personal. <laughs> oh, boy. Kyrie Johnson with the grave digger tackle. Goodness. Lifted him. Tofili. Nice running room. Taken down by Zion Anderson. Third and one now. Under center is Aaron Dixon's got Tofili. He's been doing a nice job this drive. Let's see if he can get this first down. He's got the pitch. Oh, always a bad look is the pitch. The pitch is always a bad look. Overseam. The best to do it on that team right now in that position. That outside linebacker. He's a working horse. Taking him down in the backfield. And Florida State's going to be trying to look to tie this game up with a field goal. Pretty deep. Lining it up here. Want to let it go. And it's looking a bit short. And it is. Oh, man. He did not have enough. I mean, he went for it, but did not have enough. Fitzgerald going to come up short on the field goal. And Colorado going to be starting this drive off at some good field position. They're going to have a shot here to up this lead a bit. If they come out and handle business already on the 47. That's going to set Tim Ricks up very comfortably here with a new set of downs. Taking it. Dylan got some room. Oh, this O-line has got to get it. They have got to get some type of rewards after this game. The O-line is blocking. Down on the 43. Edwards is first down after first down. Yeah, that was a 50. Yeah, that was a 56. That was deep. I was like, man, I was surprised he even went for it. Hand off to Edwards. And again, a nice blocking. And this kid is just running right up the middle. 68 yards. Definitely need dinner because these dudes are working. They are clearing the lanes for, Del for Dylan Edwards here. And they just keep going right back to Dylan. And oh, not this time. There's that big guy, number 90. This That kid is the only guy that you got to watch out for. He is all over it. 90 and 0. They look like they could be twins or something. Goodness. Another handoff and more yardage. Oh, with the stiff arm. Oh, he had to pay for it, but he picks up the first down. This game's getting a little bit chippy now. Dylan Edwards is chewing his defense up right now, and they're not, la they're not feeling good about it right now. They're trying to hurt this kid now. Down on a 27 right now. Up three. Colorado already in field goal range. Tim Ricks motion in the backfield. Oh, he's hit. He did get rid of it, however. I'm not sure how he was able to fling it out. But he did get rid of the football. I wasn't sure if it was a fumble or what. Hand off again to Edwards. Edwards, another great block and more room. Oh, my goodness. 96 yards in the first half of play. This kid lives up to all the hype. He lives up to all the hype. Big game after big game. And this O-line right now is just eating. Down on the five. Colorado, last time it only resulted in a three. They're trying to get into that end zone. Tim Ricks taking the pressure, taking it himself. QB1 dives. Touchdown, Colorado. 
The Superman dive in full effect and Lil Tim Ricks with the touchdown in Colorado. Looking to take charge. Wide open path to the end zone and he dives his way in style. Looking to go up 10-0 here with the kick. The PAT from Mata. And it is going to be good. 10-0 ball game now. Colorado at home. Back-to-back -back home games in Boulder. Could be back-to-back -back wins. Remember, this team is yet to put together a string of wins. They're going win-loss, win-loss. And they need to get back-to-back -back wins. This is the time to do it, if ever. They are in desperate needs and trying to get up to where they want to be. They got the W last week. They're coming out with a tough Florida State team right now. Up 10-0 at home. They've got to take care of business. But Aaron Dixon right now has got to do something else. He's got to start letting that thing go. And he does just that first play out. Trying to find CB. Just overshot him. Bacigalupi might have had a step on his man there. Here's the handoff to Tofili. Nice blocking. Oh, he leaps a man and more blocking for the first. What a play. <laughs> These running backs. Oh, my goodness. He just jumped over Bryson Jones. Empty set here for Aaron Dixon. Looking pressure coming in. He sat down. On the 28, second and 18 for number 18. Bishop Thomas getting to the backfield. Aaron Dixon trying to let it go. I don't know why he didn't just let it go. It got stuck to his hands. Second and 18 on the 28 now. Florida State trying to make something out of this drive. Single back set up with Toe Feely. Here's the fake. Aaron going to be looking. Pressure coming again. Back-to-back -back sacks. Overseam having a night. He is all over it. Gets him back on the 15. And this offense continues to struggle for the Seminoles dating back to last week. Remember, I told you about that 31-5 to loss against Miami on their home field due to the offense not being able to produce yards. Again, Aaron Dixon, 45 attempts. On just 184 yards and two interceptions. Here he is now. Backed up on the 15. Third and 31. Pressure's coming. Looks like Colorado's been sending many. Oh! Almost was a tip drill. Interception. But it's just going to result in another three and out. Fourth and 31. They're going to have to punt it. And due to the field position, I'm sure it's going to set Colorado up pretty nicely. Depending on how nice this punter is. Let's see what he does. Oh, no. That's not going to be enough. That's going to set him up once again at around the 40. The 41. So back-to-back -back solid drives, potential drives set up for Colorado. Last time they came out and they took care of business and went ahead and got the touchdown. Tim Ricks was able to run it in. And now starting up on the 41, they got another chance here to get seven. Here's the fake rolling out. Let's it go across the middle. Wide open Kyrie Washington. First and 10 already at the 38. And the Buffaloes are cooking right now. Shotgun action for Tim. Taking the snap. Got it to Edwards. Oh, my goodness. Got hit with the grave digger. Oh, and he's hurt. Oh, that might, that is huge. Big time. Oh, and he's going to the locker room. Florida State might have just... Got away with one. They're going to have to rely on Hankerson to close this game. Or Tim Ricks is going to have to pick it up. Oh, what a block. But don't worry. The O-line says we will handle it. The O-line says that they will get the job done for Hankerson. But that is a huge loss. Edwards going to the locker room here in the end of the first half. Already put together a complete game. Nice pass to Wiley. This one looks like it's going to go in the hands of Tim Ricks. Quarterback Tim Ricks is going to have to step up. Just a sophomore here for Colorado. First year for the Buffs. They've got to rely on Hank now. Now without their star running back already with almost 100 yards in just the first half of play. They're going to go with number four. Another pass to CP. And it's on the money. 
I'm telling you, man, those grave digger tackles, they will injure you. Beware. Second and four on the 21. Again, Colorado with nice field position already up the up the field here. Hankerson. Oh, avoid the tackle. I don't know how he did it. Oh, he's still going. Spinning. Breaking tackles. He might be even more dangerous because he's bigger than Dylan Edwards is a little guy. This kid, Hank, he's a tank. Oh, my goodness. Just a bulldozer. Down on the seven. Shotgun action, Tim Ricks. Pressure taken down. Sacked at the 17. And he's getting physical. Look, both number fours. <laughs> Tim Ricks not backing down. Deloach catches him slipping, gets right off that line. That old line's been doing a great job, though. So, I mean, they haven't given up too many looks for this defense. Especially that run blocking. That run blocking has been incredible. They've been opening up every lane. Empty set here. Going to clear it out. Tim Ricks looking to make it happen. On the 17. Quick pass. Got his man Hank. Hank is doing it all right now. Down on the 12. Third and goal. Let's see if they can get it inside or they got to settle for another three just before the half. Shotgun action. I do believe Florida State will have the ball at the half. Correct me in the chat if I'm wrong. Pressure coming to the end zone. Doesn't matter. Polly finally going to be getting his touchdown. Started this game off hot. First two to three catches. Now he's up to four to five and a touchdown. CP3. Corey Polly the third. Colorado on the board again. Look at Tim Ricks under pressure. There's that number zero. But the pressure doesn't phase him. Colorado on the board once more. Looking aggressive. Right now in the back half of this season, 16-0 lead now against Florida State. That's pretty tough for this number 15 team. They've been having their ups and downs all season long. And right now they're playing some of their best football over the last couple of weeks. Up 17-0. They're finally trying to put together a back-to-back -back win here. A set of wins. As they've been, it's been tough to come across a set of wins for this team. Finally trying to find some consistency here. Up 17-0. In the first half with 45 seconds to go against the number 11 team in the nation. This is going to be a tough loss here for Florida State if they can't put it back together. That would be Miami taking them down and then Colorado in back-to-back -back weeks. Aaron Dixon's got to get this thing going if they want a shot at it. Gets it out to Tofili. Oh, he's met by Bryson Jones. Two number nines going at it. Second and 10 now. 39 seconds to go in this half. We're going to see if AD decides to take a shot downfield and maybe try to get three on the board and some momentum. I, they do get the ball at the half, and there's Bell right on the money. First and 10, they're going to use that first of three timeouts. Looking good so far. 36 seconds. Here's Aaron again. Time to throw. Let's it go. Oh, he drops the pass. Right with the drop pass. Nice pass, but he wasn't able to hold on. On the 34 still, Bacigalupi without a reception. Let's see if they can get this guy open right now. Here he is. Oh, nice route, but the pressure is on, and he's sacked down again. Third and 18 on the 27. Aaron, time to throw. Let's it go to Bet or Tofili and down at the 37. And another punt. Still no looks for number 85, and I know it's got to be frustrating for this young guy. Cover boy himself, Christian Bacicalupi, been having a very solid season. We've seen this kid do some special things on the field, but right now it's been coming, it's been a little bit hard coming across the yards, especially with the QB struggling right now. Tim Ricks taking it himself. He's going to slide and play it smart. Down at the 18, and this clock's going to run out, guys, for the second half. Let's get those half times in the chat. Appreciate you guys for being here right now, tuning into the Friday night primetime game this week, guys. As we bring up the schedule for the rest of the week, you guys let me know in the chat what are some of the games that you're looking forward to seeing here as you check out the games on the board. Starting off that Super Saturday, Auburn, Mississippi State, Ole Miss, Iowa, Ohio State, NC State, Oklahoma State, Michigan, Washington, Oregon State, Michigan State, Wisconsin, LSU, Florida, UCLA, SC, Bama, Notre Dame, Texas, Texas A&M, Oklahoma, Tech, TCU, 
Miami, Penn State, of course, the big time, Tennessee, Georgia. We got some big time conference matchups coming up for you guys. Some big time ones. I'm talking Tennessee, Georgia, Utah, Oregon, possibly conference championship matchups, possibly. So make sure you tune in, especially on that Saturday night matchup and that Monday night matchup, because we got some thrillers on the way as we get back into this second half for the Big 12 ACC matchup between Colorado and Florida State here. Friday night action. 17-0 lead for the home team up in Boulder. As we get back here rocking, the road team going to be returning this ball. Not going to get a run here. We're going to play it safe and start on the 25. Going to give Aaron Dixon a whole nother half here to get it together and get this offense downfield. Down 17 here. It's going to be tough, but they have the time to do it. Here he's going to start off with a fake. He's going to be looking to let it go. First pass of the half. Already a dime and a touchdown. This is how you come out the half. And that's going to be Winston Wright, the kid who dropped the pass just before the half. He's going to make up for it on a big-time play. And those are the plays Aaron Dixon was making earlier in the season that got this team high in the rankings. They're going to need him to stay aggressive and stop referring to Tofili. There he is saying, there it is. That's what I was looking for. That's what his team has been waiting for, for him to get back aggressive and throw on his football to get them into ball games and win games. That is how you start the half. Seven seventeen, cutting this ball game to a ten point lead. Still a two possession game. Colorado getting it on the twenty yard line. Big time play, big time momentum for the road team as the home crowd looks to get back into this game and shut some of that down. Colorado being punched right out the gate. Let's see how they respond. Tim Ricks letting it go under pressure, and I don't know. Maybe that offense has sparked this defense. Take the top off, Elijah. You already know. That is something that Tim Ricks does often though with CP3, so watch out for that out on the outside. Here's Tim looking. Pressure coming. Cooked. Oh, my. It looks like the Florida State. Oh, Tim Ricks is now hurt. That was a blow, and it looks like Colorado's going to be now losing their star quarterback, starting quarterback, and starting running back. This can get ugly quickly. This is a way for Florida State to get into this game. Backup quarterback probably not going to be too good. But they're going to have to try to figure it out. But, oh, wait a minute. Kyrie Washington says no. I got it covered, Zeke. This game is going to be crazy. Quarterback and running back in the locker room. This is when you test them. This is where you see what they're really made of. Backup quarterback in the game. Dumps it off to Kyrie on the screen. First down, Colorado. If there was any chance the football gods wanted Florida State to get into this game, it would be now because they have now taken out their QB1 and RB1 with Florida State being down 10 points. You got to think this team can get back into this ball game. Wow. This is wild. Under center now. Here's the pitch. And Hankerson taken down. I don't even know the backup quarterback's name. <laughs> I got to see. What's going on? There he is. I can I get a I can't get a clear shot. Third and ten. On the 40. Alright, we're gonna get our throw. Number 19. He's getting that pressure. He gets rid of it. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, it's a dime. It's a dime to Corey Polly. Roughing the passer. No, pass it a feet. Oh, things just can't get any sweeter for Colorado right now. It's Finn Trail picking up the P.I. He lobbed the beauty down on the 27. Here's pressure coming again. And it might be another. This one might be the rough in the passer I was looking for last time. Another P.I. Oh, what is going on? Florida State. What are you doing? Here's the handoff to Hankerson. He's going to be taken down, Hank. Oh, that's the kid. Stop. That's right. Okay, I did remember him um, taking the scholarship over there at Colorado. Here he is out of the gun on the 21, taking a snap. They're going to have to rely on him. He's taking a lot of pressure here. Another dime. Oh, 
It was a dime. Dawson drops it in the end zone. He actually threw a dime on the money. That was not the quarterback's fault at all. That should have been a touchdown. Here he is again with the pass and a dime. And wait a minute. It looks like I don't know if they don't like his passes, but they look to be on the money. But these guys are not catching it. They are not reeling it in, and that's going to result in three. But I do believe that these passes are on the money. Stop has been impressive, but his receivers now dropping two clear passes. Oh, and they missed the... F oh, yo, Mata, rare miss. This is telling me something that Florida State, this is your opportunity here because everything is going wrong right now for Colorado. I'm talking down goes QB1, down goes RB1, missed field goals, drop passes. Everything says Florida State can get back into this ball game. That's what I'm seeing. On the 28 right now, 717 down 10. And here comes Tofili. Nice run. Oh, Jay Johnson misses him. Zion hawks him down at the 49. And with some nice field position already, it looks like Florida State's going to take advantage of that. Tofili with a nice run down there on the 49. First and 10 now. Aaron Dixon coming back out after that terrific pass. Last drive to lead to a touchdown. Here he is. Approaching that 11-minute mark in the third quarter. Another pass to Tofili, and he's boomed by Fields, but he holds on. Second and two, he gives him his props. He said, hey, you know, that was a good hit. I ain't going to lie to you, brother. That was a good hit, but I'll take the eight yards. Aaron Dixon out of the gun, back to Tofili. Oh, no, the fake. He sold it. He sold it. He faked me, and then he rolled into a first down. It was a little ugly. He even took an extra little drop back before he actually ran. He had to get the engine revved up there, <laughs> but he ultimately rolled into the first down, and Aaron Dixon playing some big-time football right now in the second half. Coming out, hand off to Tofili, trying to get to the outside, and taking down just one yard on the play, second and nine. Down on the 35, Christian Bacigalupi still looking to get a, a shot here or a target. To get in this ball game. Oh, nice sell there. To, oh, Wilson, but he fumbles. CJ Duffy popped it up. Fumble. CJ Duffy boy. Duffel bag boy. Hits him right. Oh, right where the ball is. Makes him drop it. And Antoine Fields, generic cornerback, jumps on it. Looked like a solid Florida State drive, but this defense, we've talked about Colorado's defense time and time again. The record doesn't show, but this defense is tough. Some heavy hitters, Kyrie Johnson, C.J. Duffy. That's about two or three force fumbles now for that young kid. He is a heavy hitter and a tough cover. Here's Staub, going to go with Hankerson, trying to get outside, but he stopped in his tracks. Going to lose two on the play. Yeah, he's in his Duffy. That's what I always, <laughs> he's in his Duffy. This kid is serious, and he straps like he doesn't let anything by. He's a heavy hitter, and he's tough to get a pass on. Low snap, handoff to Hankerson. Nice blocking. Down on the 44. Seventeen-seven, seven, 10 10-point game. Colorado still got hope, even with their backups in. Low snap again. Stop, looking, going. Nice pass. This kid's pretty good. They're starting to catch the football. It might get ugly for Florida State. This kid's actually picking them apart. You're going to see a different game from him than Tim Ricks. He looks like a pocket guy. Here he is on the 41. He and Hankerson trying to take over for QB1 and RB1. Both of them getting the job done right now so far. Gets it out to Hankerson, and he stopped in the backfield. Loss of three. Can you imagine that? Like, just being a backup and... and in one game, the quarterback and running back goes down, and now you and the other quarterback have to take over this game. Actually, for a full half. They got hurt early in the in the second half. Here's Hankerson to the outside, and he's thrown down at the 39. And this Florida State defense in the second half has been stepping up as Lundy going to take him down. Here's Staub out of the gun. Going to be looking to keep the drive alive. Pressure coming his way. Still delivers a dime. A catchable pass. But just not reeled in by Kyrie Washington. And heavy pressure. But he's still been impressive so far. I haven't seen a bad ball yet. Look at him under pressure. Gets it to where it needs to be. But just under in some traffic there. 
fourth and nine and we got the punt gonna start florida state at the 20 so this defense has been holding true holding strong they just need the offense to get with them get with the program here aaron dixon has got to lock in we've seen that he can do it got it over to winston wright a couple of possessions ago here's tofili and k5 is there on the stop with a little help from bryson jones going to be stopped on the 21 just a one yard gain florida state lining it back up just under six minutes to go in the third here setting it back up for tofili oh they clear the runway for him enough to get him down to the 26 third and four now kennedy picking up his third tackle just under five minutes aaron dixon in the shotgun's gonna have to let it fly to get this first down here he is, going to be looking, got time, dumps it. Oh, it's broken up by Zaj. Zion Anderson Jr. Breaking it up is the cover boy. And going to force a three and out, fourth and four, and Florida State's got to get rid of it. Back too far to make anything else happen, and Colorado again. Going to be returning this punt. Going to be getting some nice field position off the nice play. Oh, he has a block on the outside. He's off to the races. Oh, my gosh. To the crib. Touchdown. Colorado. They are jumping Boulder. Breed love. Taking it to the crib. And the beatdown is officially on. I've seen it happen in the cut. The juke got to the outside. Goodness. Breed well, breed love is what they call them. Wow. Yeah, and you got to think, guys. Remember, Florida State had a tough time with those Miami special teams last week. That was what hurt them most was the special teams. Something about Florida State special teams starting to break down towards the end of this season, and it's not boding well for them as Colorado sitting real comfortable 24-7 lead up in Boulder. Older wears colder. Going to be the kickoff in Florida State. Now filling. I'm not sure. I'm sure Christian Bacicalupi can tell you here in the chat. He's upset. He says Utah's loss was because of the special teams as well. So it's been a lot of special teams issue here for the Florida, uh, Florida State Seminoles. And we got the flag. Looking like it might be a holding. They might bring this one back here. As again, when it rains, it pours. This offense, two weeks in a row, just struggling to get something going. At the end of the third here, well, coming down to the end of the third, you got to think Aaron Dixon's going to have to start letting it fly a little bit more, making some smarter passes, but getting this team downfield, second and 13. And I told you, this kid Duffy is in his bag. He is a lockdown defender. Not too many times you see this kid or anybody get the best of him. Empty set, trips up top. You got Bacigalupi looking making a, to make a play. And he is going to get it. I saw him calling it out. He's got some blocking space. Nice route. I mean, nice ball carrying for Bacigalupi. Going to force his way in down to the 33. Third and two. I like seeing him call for the ball and get it and make something happen. Just some nice cut work there for CB85. And Tofili. Boomed in the backfield. And again, who you guessed it? Overseam. Double nickel. 55 on the move. Stopping him at the 32. Goodness. And another three and out. And I know they fear this punt now because remember what happened last time. This kid, Breed Love, took it to the crib. Can he do it again? Here he is, off to the races again, and he's taken down at the 24. This time, Stobbs going to actually get a shot at it. Special teams got the job done last time out. 2.25 on the clock in the third quarter, and... Colorado feeling pretty good here at home in week 12, looking for their sixth win of the season to go six and five in CS6. Hankerson going to be stopped in the backfield, second and nine, and they have not been making it easy for this kid. Definitely a different runner, much different runner than Dylan Edwards, but they're going to need Hank to run this clock out as much as possible in the fourth quarter to secure this W. Colorado known to give up a lead. They almost gave up one uh, last week, almost gave one up to Oklahoma, but they were able to hold on. Wiley now up to 70 yards on the night. Down on the 32 here. Going to let it go, and he's got Dawson.
Here's another handoff to Hankerson. Oh, he slips up off the block. And again, I'm telling you, they're going to look, definitely look to run a lot of this clock out here coming up onto the fourth quarter. That's going to do it for the third. Let's get those fours in the chat. Fours in the chat, guys. Here's Staub under center. Another run for Hankerson and nice cut work for the first down. This is going to be a game where Hankerson can say, this is my week. I can get stats and show this program what I'm all about. Show other programs what I'm all about. Just in case he has to be on the move. Down at the 50. Midfield action here. First and 10 for the Buffs. Fours in the chat, fellas. Just under 15 to go. And Colorado looking to close this game out with this quarter. Again, going to be heavy running. Been nice blocking all night from this O-line. Here's another handoff to Hankerson and number 20 on the takedown. Or 90, that's still those kids, those twins. Staub under center. Hands it off to Hank. And there's the other brother, number zero. Look, I don't even know if they're brothers. I'm just calling them brothers. <laughs> number zero and 90 is pretty much the same player. They look just alike, built the same. And they both dogs. Yeah, you got to hold them. You got to hold them. They're definitely going to be trying to milk that clock the rest of the game. So if Florida State can just play that run game and... Hold them each time down as Colorado is going to be looking to milk it each possession and just come down and start making some plays. They can actually get right into this game. One touchdown at a time for Aaron Dixon. With the way Colorado has been milking this clock, he's going to have to start letting it fly. He's not going to have a lot of time to work. Setting up at the 20 here. It's time to work. First pass, got him in. Nicely done. By Winston Wright having a big game. That's a grown man catch. Down at the 35. Florida State looking to move those chains. Colorado's defense is going to be tested right now as they load up here. Here's AD again taking the snap. Looking. Let's it go. Got his man. Winston Wright again. 15 for 19. Pretty efficient night here for AD. 104 yards now for Winston Wright. And Aaron Dixon's going to be making the call, looking. Got some time to throw, letting it fly. Oh, it's broken up. And I told you, number seven, C.J. Duffy, locked down. Not too many times you see people catching footballs over this kid. And he's a heavy hitter. A.D. with another pass. And Bell's going to be, oh, it's broken up. Marshall, Devontae Marshall on the hit. Look at Zodge. And that's going to be a three and out and a big time hit. And Bell almost had it caught. Going to force Florida State to kick it away again. As Colorado getting this ball at the 20 with 10.53 left in this ball game. Stop taking control. And again, Florida State's going to have to stop the run game as they know it's going to be coming as they look to waste this clock. And again, avoiding the tackle, but number zero is on it. Just two-yard run here on the play. Lavette Sr. Going to take him down. Lining it up again on the 22. Second and eight. Here's a snap. Hankerson again. Up the middle. Has some space. Nice stiff arm, but he's taken down. Third and one. So some nice running here from Hankerson as they try to keep this drive going. Let's see if Florida State can get in the backfield here and get a stop. Hankerson again. First down. Another hang. Oh, my goodness. A Hankerson stiff arm again. Back-to-back -back stiff arms. Getting this kid the extra yards needed. Down on the 38. A new set of downs for the Buffs. As that clock continues to run out, either team, neither team has used a timeout yet. Hankerson with another run, and he stopped in his tracks. Just one yard on the play as Jackson Jr. there on the tackle. 
Here's Stop making a call. Hand off to Hank. Oh, again, Levette Jr. Or Levette Sr., I'm sorry. Gonna be taking him down. Third and 11 here. Hand off to Hank. Hank taken down. And again, Florida State gonna get a shot. Just at the 38. They're gonna get another shot. It's just that the offense has not been making the plays to even give them any type of hope. But this defense, you got to give them some credit. They did come out and play hard as they could tonight and trying to get the stops that they could. Gave this offense a few, quite a few opportunities to get in this ball game. As the punt is up, and it's going to be a good one. Going to get him back for a return, and he's off and running down at the 23. Aaron Dixon coming back out. No interceptions, but still not too great of a game. Not taking the shots needed. Not getting that ball downfield, but still pretty efficient. As he looks to take another shot here on this drive here. Week 12 action. Florida State down. Trying to avoid an, uh, an upset. Oh, and there's the interception. I tell you, that boy, CJ with the step. Oh, I'm telling you, this kid is serious. He flies under the radar because he's at Colorado. But if you look at the numbers and look at the film, CJ Duffy is the man. In his Duffy, taking it away, just as I say, no interceptions. CJ says, hold on, Zeke. I'm going to show you one right here. Interception from number seven, and that just might do it. That is the one. Jumping right in front of it and snagging it. And now these guys start off on a 22 in some serious field position for more damage on that scoreboard as Hank taken down. On the 22, no no gain on the play. Just under seven minutes to go in this ball game. C.J. Duffy already having a great game. He adds on to it. I'm telling you, it's not too many times people even throw his way because that is going to happen or they're going to get boomsticked and fumble. So this kid, number seven, is not to be made messed with. Third and 11 here again. Florida State's defense doing their job. As Hank not able to find any room. Nice block there, but again, stopped short. And just great defense as Colorado is going to be forced to try to kick one in here from Mata. Already in great field position due to the interception. So they do have, they are in field goal range for Mata to knock this one in and just put this lead up. A bit more to get some more comfortability here. And here it goes the kick. It is up and it is good. 27 to 7. Colorado looking for their first back to back wins in quite some time. They've been putting it together these last couple of weeks. The defense has been impeccable. The offense has been moving. 27 points on the board in week 12 here for the Buffs. And another 36 points last week. So these kids are starting to find out how to get together some offense and get some points on the board. And this defense, again, is just so tough. Another stop back in the backfield. If you look at their numbers, takeaways, they're eighth in the nation. So they're a tough team. Second and 10 here for Aaron Dixon. Shotgun action, five minutes on the clock exactly. Left in this ball game, Aaron not going to have anything as Cormani McLean all over it. Third and 10 on the 25. Trying to keep the drive alive here. Just under five minutes to go. Aaron Dixon out of the gun. Going to be looking. Got some pressure coming his way. Letting it fly deep. Got a man. But again, C.J. Duffy. You're seeing it live and direct. A true lockdown performance from this young user DB. He is not letting anything by. Fourth and 10. Aaron Dixon looking. Pressure coming. Going deep again. Trying CJ once more. And it's not a good idea. The bat away. This kid is locked down. 4.43 left. Colorado with nice field position again. And they're going to be looking to milk some more of this clock out. Still no timeouts used. What's going on, Tommy? Colorado here putting on a lockdown performance, Tommy. You got to see this kid, CJ Duffy, number seven. He's serious business. 
Here's the handoff to Hank. Hank going to be stopped in the backfield. Going to be no gain on the play. 26 rushes for 73 yards. Stepped up and filled in for Dylan Edwards tonight, who got hurt early in that, or at the end of the second quarter. Their starting running back went out, and to start the, th the second half, their starting quarterback went out. So against adversity and against everything going against Colorado, they still able to pull out this victory here, which it seems 27-7 right now. Week 12 at home to put together a back-to-back -back win, which they haven't done in a while here. The last few weeks, they've been win-loss, win-loss, win-loss. But now, last week's win was great against Oklahoma. Now they come out and upset another top team. So these guys have been knocking off some of the best teams in the nation. Last week, knocked off Oklahoma. This week, looking to knock off a number 11 team. So some big-time football being played right now from the Buffs. Oklahoma was ranked number seven last week in Colorado 19. Knocked them off. Florida State ranked 11. Colorado 15. Looking to knock them off. 30 to 7. So two big time wins here to make a case in that Big 12 for Colorado as we got one more week left for these kids in week 13. Let's see if they can squeeze their way into that game. Here's Aaron Dixon going to get it to the outside to Tofili out of bounds. Second and eight. Aaron Dixon. Surveying the field. Pressure coming in. Sacked again. The defensive pressure from this unit has been incredible tonight. This front line has been giving them a problem. Aaron Dixon. It's been a tough one. Still not able to get Seabotch going tonight. I'm not sure if he even got a look tonight. More pressure. Oh, my. He's able to wobble one to Tofili, and it falls right in his hands for a nice first down. That couldn't win any better. 51 yards receiving now for Tofili. Jay Johnson not happy about that one. Under pressure, wobbly pass, but wide open. Look at the spacing there. Is Jay Johnson able to come away? With the tackle and Aaron Dixon with the season on the line pretty much for this team in the ACC. It's going to be looking like a tough loss here on the road in week 12 to Colorado. On the 46. Pretty nice season for Florida State. Had their moments where they looked to be one of the elites. But then also had times where they started to fall off a bit. And we're seeing one of those games here, back-to-back -back weeks where they're where they're barely scratching a few points here. It's, it's tough right now for the Seminoles. Here's Aaron Dixon now, third and six, going to let it go across the middle to Bell. First down. I mean, he's a pretty good passer when he's not rattled. Here's shotgun action. Dixon taking the snap. Looking. Pressure coming again and sacked again. Three sacks. Three tackles for Jay Brown. Three for three for this kid. Second and 14. Bacigalupi to the outside here. Let's see if they can get something going. Here's Dixon. More pressure outside. Tofili taken down at the 49. Third and 13. High snap. Aaron, time to throw, gets it to Tofili. Timeouts are starting to come off the board, and wow. They go for a punt here. They, I guess they say they don't want to give up any more points. It's too ugly at this point. And that'll likely be the last drive we see out of the Seminoles. I'm sure Colorado will just go ahead and run and kneel this one out as much as they can. Florida State only one more timeout left. Yeah, and they're going to start with the kneel. Colorado looking for their back-to-back -back upset here. Defeated the number seven team in the nation last week in Oklahoma. Well, at Colorado, but they beat Oklahoma, the number seven team. Then they came out in week 12 here and backed that up with a performance against the number 11 team, Florida State. So two impressive wins for uh, Colorado on the back end of the season here as they look ahead to week 13 as this season ends. And they still... In the race to possibly squeeze into that Big 12 
conference championship game and trying to get a get a shot at Texas here. Two big time wins that might allow them to do just that as this is a ball game. GG's in the chat, guys. It's Colorado trying to pull off maybe what some seem to be impossible due to the ground they have to cover and the teams and the opponents that they had to play. Which if you think about it, if you're looking at a team like that coming in at four and five, week eleven, and you say, Man, you guys got my you guys got Oklahoma number seven, Oklahoma week eleven, and you got number eleven, Florida State week twelve. Would you say you think Colorado's coming out in that two and oh? Many might not. But they did do just that two and oh in that stretch of games for Colorado. Big time win for the Buffs. It's your boy Zeke Pruitt, Friday Night Lights. And I'm out of here, guys. I'll see you guys Saturday, tomorrow after the Super Saturday check-in. We got a 12-game slate tomorrow. Again, here's the schedule, you guys. Make sure you tune in. Got a lot of great games coming up. That Miami-Penn State game is going to be a great premiere to watch. That Texas-Texas A&M game is going to be pretty impressive. Bama-Notre Dame should be solid. That good old Pac-12 UCLA-USC rival game should be exciting to watch. LSU-Florida might even be pretty nice to watch as well. SEC going at it. I'm pretty sure it will be. TCU's been playing pretty well last uh, couple of weeks. They haven't been able to reel in all the wins, but they've been playing well. So that's going to be a fight as well. So you guys make sure you tune in for the games tomorrow. And I'll see you tomorrow night for that Tennessee, Georgia SEC showdown. We got to see seven and three teams going at it for the SEC. And they might be able to go again for that championship game. But until then, it's your boy and I'm out. Peace.